Magandang araw po sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers, mga followers, supporters, and friends from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, at maging sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ako nga po pala si Earl Anthony Dorano. Just a little background of myself. I'm uh, an associate financial planner for Registered Financial Planner of the Philippines. I also work as a virtual assistant for Upwork, a death care specialist, and I used to be a supervisor for a BPO company. A team leader po ako dati sa isang software company dito sa Cebu. And I used to work as a banker and credit card specialist for JP Morgan Chase. But now, isa po kong financial educator at marketing director dito sa IMG or otherwise known as International Marketing Group. In a nutshell, yung IMG or International Marketing Group, it's a one-stop shop for all your financial needs. If you think about it, bakit ka pa maghahanap ng ahente or financial broker when you can be your own financial broker? So if you're looking for healthcare, life insurance, mga mutual funds, mga properties like for real estate, condo, or house and lot. Or if you're looking for mga non-life insurance, car insurance, or other general insurance for your house perhaps, or all other services, kompleto po, nandito po lahat sa IMG. That's why I decided to become a member so that I can be my own financial broker. And as you get to be your own financial broker, you get to enjoy 48 benefits. And you heard it right. As of the moment, meron po tayong 48 benefits uh, that we enjoy as members of IMG. Kasama na po dyan yung discounts, mga free gifts, mga access. Pero more importantly, aside sa 48 benefits, napaka-importante na we get ourselves acquainted with how money works. And the good thing about IMG is they provide free seminars and workshop. And one of the things I learned here in IMG is the importance of building a solid financial foundation. Just like when you're building a house, you have to start from the ground up. As you have noticed, on the bottom most part, dito po nakalagay ang healthcare. Tapos, andyan yung life insurance. Dapat bayaran yung mga utang. Tapos, emergency funds. Tapos, investment. Pinaka-importante dito yung healthcare. Siguro naman nung pandemic last year, nung nag-lockdown, siguro naman na-realize natin kung gano'ng halaga yung healthcare. Di ba? Bakit ba... Napakahalaga ng healthcare. Well, let's talk about the healthcare condition dito sa Philippines. Real talk number one, the healthcare cost is getting more expensive. In fact, in an article published by Manila Bulletin that was June of 2019, it is believed that the medical inflation rate in the Philippines is projected to rise 13.7%. Medyo nakakabahala nga kasi this is the second highest in Asia. And this was before the pandemic. So you can just imagine how things uh, change, especially nung 2020. Every time I share this with my friends and loved ones, I always get most of the time the response na, ah, hindi namin kailangan yan kasi my field health tsaka my universal health care. Well, that brings me to real talk number two. Feel health or the universal health care will not cover everything. Those of you who have first-hand experience when it comes to paying hospital bills would know what I'm talking about. Feel health will only cover a portion of the bill. The rest of it will be shouldered by the patient, the family, or the insurance, depending on the situation. And as we all know, my issue pong kinakaharap yung feel health, which is very sad. And I'm no longer surprised why around 600 private hospitals threatened that they will no longer renew their PhilHealth accreditation in 2020 due to unpaid claims. So, kung isipin mo buti, paano na yan? Paano kung walang PhilHealth? Paano kung walang insurance? Eh, nasa patient na yung responsibilidad na bayaran yung hospital bill. Buti na lang kung my savings. Real talk number three, it will affect your savings when you get hospitalized. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, buti kung may savings, paano kung wala? Minsan nadadamay pa yung savings ng ibang tao, yung savings na para sa anak natin, para sa tuition nila, or savings na dapat sana para sa magulang natin for their retirement, or pera na dapat for utilities, minsan nadadamay. Tapos pag naubos na lahat, dyan na pupapasok yung mga hashtag KMJS, hashtag Graffy Tulfo in Action, di ba? That's why most of us, real talk number four, walang choice. Uh, most of us would opt 
to be employed for a company kahit stressed, kahit kulang sa tulog, kahit puyat, walang choice kasi yung mga companies they offer free healthcare insurance for their employees and the dependents. That's why even though we're stressed and very tired, we opt to stay. But the fact remains that you will not work for the rest of your life. And real talk number five, as we get older, we're definitely likely to get sick. It doesn't matter what your status is right now, whether you're single, you're married, you're running a business or you work for a company, we all get older. Diba? At lalabas, at lalabas din yung mga sakit eventually. And last year, it was a wake-up call. The COVID-19 virus has become a global health crisis and it has killed millions of people all over the world and infected a lot more. Matanong ko lang, when do you think this pandemic will end? Hopefully, whatever the situation was last year, whether it's good or bad, I hope you learned something out of it. Ngayon, we're just fortunate kasi maraming options dito sa Philippines. If you're going to check the slide, you will see all, I mean, some of the healthcare companies dito sa Philippines. Pero ako personally, bakit napili ko sa Kaiser? Well, I have eight reasons. First is, registered po siya sa Securities and Exchange Commission. Second, registered din po siya sa Insurance Commission is one of the HMO companies. Member din po siya sa Philippine Association of Health Maintenance Organization Companies or PAMOC, which was recently praised by President Duterte, Vice President Lenny Robredo, even the Insurance Commissioner, even the previous Secretary of Health. And the good thing about Kaiser, it, is, it has a lifetime network access of over 500 accredited hospitals and 100 specialists all across the country. Kaya nga, pinagkakatiwalaan din siya ng mga doctors, mga providers, even hospitals. You will see all these feedback and reviews on the Kaiser's website so that you can check it yourself. I will provide that link later on. At hindi lang po, at, at hindi lang po mga providers, pati yung mga members ng Congress, yung House of Representatives and government ag agencies, they trust Kaiser. In fact, Kaiser has been the healthcare provider for the House of Representatives and some of the government ag agencies for several years now. Baka sabihin nyo, para lang to sa mga government employees, ha? well, nagkakamali po kayo dyan kasi yung Kaiser, it's for everyone. And would you believe na even our megastar, Sharon Conetta, she's also a Kaiser policyholder and she happens to be our Kaiser ambassador. So with all this, that's the reason why I decided to open a Kaiser plan for myself and my family. And I have this you know, peace of mind na I'm with the right company. Yung Kaiser International po, Marami po, it has a wide array of products and services, and one of which is tinatawag nating senior care plan. Ang Kaiser Senior Care Plan, it is a medical healthcare plan designed for 61 years old and up. Nung nag-avail kami ng mom ko para sa senior care niya, nakatanggap po kami ng kit, and the kit contains a hard copy of the policy or contract. It also contains the booklet. Uh, it's a list of accredited or affiliated hospitals, uh, mga providers dito sa Philippines. And fact po, lahat po ng mga private hospitals, especially if you're in Cebu, lahat po ng mga private hospitals sa Cebu, they're affiliated with Kaiser. And lastly, sa kit, uh, nakatanggap din po kami ng Kaiser Health Card for my mom. So this is what you will get the moment you have the Kaiser Senior Care. Now, what's fabulous about Kaiser Senior Care, uh, when I say fabulous, I'm talking about fab, that's features and benefits. Uh, let's talk about the benefits first. Actually, there's a lot of benefits. Uh, you will uh, see the link later on so that you can see the full list of benefits for the Kaiser Senior Care plan, but I'm just going to highlight some of them. First is it has a maximum benefit limit per illness per year. Tama po, per illness per year. Depending on your plan, it may range from 250,000 to 1 million. And it also has coverage for the basic hospital benefits, uh, miscellaneous hospital expenses, and a lot more. Again, you will see the link later on. 
For the features, ang Kaiser Senior Care po, it has a coverage of one year upon effectivity of the plan. And the renewal is guaranteed up to age 100. Yung karamihan siguro uh, medyo confused on this part, but I will explain that on this slide. Sabihin natin si tatay nag-open ng Kaiser Senior Care at medyo nakaluwag-luwag. So sabi niya, magbabayad ako ng annual. So yun, magbayad siya ng annual. Eh nagkataon na two months after he opened the, or he got approved for the policy, two months after na hospital si tatay. ba? For the first year, which means first 12 months, tapos na confine yung policyholder, covered po yung mga non pre-existing cases. Ano, ano ba itong mga non-pre-existing cases? Simple, yung mga dengue, rabies infection, amebiasis, and a lot more. Again, it will depend on the doctor as to what is pre-existing or non-pre-existing. Pero the good thing is, for the first 12 months, covered po ang mga non-pre-existing cases. Eh, paano pag mga pre-existing condition niya? Paano, po, paano pag pre-existing pre condition na yung pinag-uusapan natin? Well, don't worry. Kasi on the second annual coverage, bayaran yun lang po yung second annual premium. Then, continuous lang po yung coverage. This time, sa second annual, covered na po pati yung pre-existing condition. When I say pre-existing condition, I'm talking about conditions like hypertension, mga ENT conditions requiring surgery, prostate disorder, and a lot more. Again, it will depend on the doctor kung ano yung considered as pre-existing or non-pre-existing condition. Pero sa edad na to, talagang lumalabas na yung mga sakit, di ba? So, what if it's a critical illness or mga dreaded diseases? Well, don't worry. It will be covered on the third year. So, continuous lang po yung coverage. For the third year, for example, dyan na po papasok lahat non-pre-existing, pre-existing, even critical or dreaded diseases. I'm talking about conditions like cerebrovascular accident, cardiovascular diseases, at marami pa pong iba. Again, it will depend on the doctor. Continue lang po yung coverage and, you know, later on, uh, smooth lang po yung transition ng coverage. And that's the good thing about Kaiser Senior Care because... Uh, one of the benefits is talagang very proactive sila, especially kung may mga changes. And that's what I like about them. Another feature po ng Kaiser Senior Care is it is reimbursement type. And this part here, for the fourth feature, I will just have to explain this. Uh, it says member to shoulder the first 10,000 pesos from the total bill plus an additional 10% of the claimable amount. The remaining 90% of the claimable amount shall be shouldered by Kaiser. I will explain that on this slide. So sabihin natin, sa first year na hospital si tatay, nagkatao na nagkadengue tapos nagkaamibiasi si tatay. Since this is non-pre-existing, so first year, covered si tatay. At after nung confinement niya, nalaman na yung hospital bill is 100,000. So, ibig sabihin, sa so 100,000, ang isi-shoulder po ng patient is 10,000. So, 100,000 minus 10,000, that will give us a difference of 90,000. Yung 90,000 po, ito po yung tinatawag na claimable amount. Sinasabi, sinabi ko po kanina na ang responsibility ng patient or ng family is 10%, an additional 10% of the claimable amount. So, what is 10% of 90,000? That's 9,000. So, ibig sabihin, yung 10,000 plus 9,000, which is equal to 19,000, ito po yung responsibility ng patient or ng family. So, that means sa hospital bill na 100,000, you deduct 19,000 out of it. So, the difference, which is 81,000 pesos, ito po yung tinatawag na nating Kaiser reimbursement amount. So simply put, sa hospital bill na 100,000, yung reimbursement amount will be 81,000. I just want to make sure that this is clear. Kasi nga, marami yung nagtatanong sa akin and they uh, always assume na this is how it works. Pero pag uh, na-hospital na yung patient, sinasabi nila na, uh, 
uh, parang hindi to napaliwanag sa akin na part. So I just want to make sure this is clear. But if you have question or mga comments, just comment down below so that I can address them later on. Now, let's talk about the premium. Dalawa lang po yung options for uh, the Kaiser Senior Care. Semi-annual at annual. And dito po sa semi-annual, as you can see, there's some categories. Meron pong 250,000, 500,000, at meron pong 1 million. And the price or the premium will also depend on the age bracket of the policyholder. So ito po yung semi-annual. Ito naman po yung annual. Again, this is subject uh, to changes. So make sure you check on the Kaiser website or you always get in touch with a financial educator or your sponsor so that you get updated if there's some changes. So this is how the rate looks like. And if you also want to know the accredited or affiliated hospitals, you can always go to https colon for, uh, double slash kaiserhealthgroup.com slash map slash index dot html. I will also provide that link later on. So make sure you finish the rest of the video. And just like I said, yung Kaiser, it has a wide array of products and services. And now that we're done talking with, the, with Kaiser Senior Care, I'm also going to introduce real quick about the importance of having long-term care. Tayo po, um, very concerned and we love our parents. That's why we're interested in having a plan for them. Pero if you think about it, we also don't want our kids to worry about our health care the moment we get old or the moment we turn 60 or 61 years old, diba? We don't want that happening. We want to break the cycle. That's why I'm going to talk about the long-term care. And this is one of the concepts that I learned when I joined IMG or International Marketing Group. And this is also the reason why, kung titignan yung mabuti, ito yung nasa bottom most part because this is very, very important. Yung long-term care po, it has been around for quite some time now. Pero uh, initially, it was just introduced to countries like United States, Canada, Germany, and United Kingdom. But if you think about it, why was this just offered uh, for the first world countries when in fact everyone needs it everyone even in the philippines well the good news is even sa philippines meron na po tayong long term care and ito po yung tinatawag nating kaiser ultimate health builder tinatawag po tong 720 plan kasi kasi nga po 7 years mo lang siyang babayaran that's right 7 years babayaran and for the first 7 years ito po yung tinatawag na accumulation period or paying period. After na fully paid na yung plan, mag-aantay ka na lang po na mag-mature siya. So while waiting, the good thing is the investment will also come into the picture. And I'm going to talk about that later on. So after fully paid na si plan, during the waiting period, ito po yung tinatawag natin extended period. Pero may mga good things about uh, this plan which I will talk about later. After mabayaran, after magmature ni plan, ito na po, dito na po papasok yung tinatawag nating long-term care period. So allow me to explain this to you real quick as to how this works when it comes to the long-term care. So habang binabayaran mo yung Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder for seven years, even if you haven't fully paid it yet, there's already benefits that you will enjoy. Kasama na po dyan yung annual physical exam, my dental, at marami pa pong iba. And one of the best things about this plan is if, in case you will not use it for confinement, let's say kasi may short-term care plan ka with a company or may personal short-term plan ka from, uh, you know, from elsewhere, if you are not going to use it for the first seven years, then you get rewarded for it because 85% of the contract price will be returned to you. Diba? That's something very exciting. Let's say na fully paid na yung plan, ano ba yung makukuha ng member? So yung policyholder upon uh, once it's fully paid, automatic po yung mga benefits na na-enjoy mo, it will still be there. The good thing is during this period, madadagdagan po yung mga benefits kasi kasama na po dyan yung pre-existing condition, Kasama na din po dito yung outpatient benefits, even maternity benefits. And 
pati na rin po yung mga critical illness and dreaded disease kasama na din po dito sa extended period or once na fully paid na yung plan. And just like I mentioned earlier, dito na rin po papasok yung investment part or investment side of it. Kasi during this period, for illustration purposes, sabihin natin si policyholder is 22 years old, kumuha ng K100 plan at the mode of payment was annual. Yung annual premium niya is 58,821 pesos and 43 cents. Di ba sabi natin, seven years siyang babayaran. So if you multiply it by seven, the contract price is 411,000 pesos, I mean 411,750 pesos. So, sabihin natin ito yung kinuha niyang plan. During the extended period, automatic po na papasok yung 10% yearly health benefit. And since the policyholder has the K100, so 10% of it which is 10,000 pesos, so makakatanggap po every year ng 10,000 pesos si policyholder. The good thing is, if hindi nagamit yung plan during this period, makakatanggap din po ng tinatawag na 10% accumulated unused yearly health benefit yung policyholder. So sabihin natin hindi nagamit ni policyholder kasi nga may short-term care siya. Just for example, ibig sabihin nito, once nag-mature si plan, makakatanggap ng total accumulated unused health benefit of as high as 269,750 pesos. At hindi lang po yan. Kasi yung funds po, ini-invest na po yan on different uh, portfolios and siguro, uh, may mga strategies po para lumago yung pera. So on this slide, you will see funds are already invested. So the yearly health bonus serves as the dividend depending on the market and the return of investment or ROI which ranges from 3% to 13%. So naka-invest na po ito sa iba't ibang portfolios. And if the market is good and talagang nag-perform, then the estimated amount is 446,419 pesos. Ito po yung tinatawag nating additional health benefit. Well, if you thought na yun lang yung matatanggap on the maturity, nagkakamali po kayo kasi makakatanggap din po ng guaranteed amount Uh, on the maturity kasi nga nag-open si policyholder ng K100 so automatic po na makakatanggap ng 100,000 and that's what we call the long-term care benefit that's regardless whether nagamit si plan nagamit yung plan or wala and di ba sinabi ko kanina na much better kung hindi nagamit sa hindi nagamit yung plan for especially for the first seven years kasi nga 85% of the premium is returned to the policy owner. Yan po yung tinatawag nating long-term care bonus. Kung titignan mo, yung contract price is 411,750 pesos. Ano po ba yung 85% nito? Ito po yun, 350,000 pesos. That means na after na fully paid siya for 7 years and after nag-mature siya, ito po yung matatanggap ng plan holder depending on you know how the policy uh, holder uh, uses the plan. So if you add it up, yung total maturity value is 1,166,169 pesos. Ano ba mangyayari sa maturity value? Well, that's a good question. Yung maturity value, ilalagay po yan sa isang Kaiser Visa card. And at this point, kasi nga nag-mature na siya, then you have the option to either withdraw all the money or all the or the entire amount. Pero we rec we recommend we highly recommend na you uh, get perhaps a portion of that maturity value para may funds you, you will still have the funds to use for your healthcare needs in the future. And perhaps the other half you can uh, put up a business. Nasasayu po yun kasi Uh, nagmature na po yung plan. There are also instances na, well, if you still have extra, then you also have the choice to just remain, uh, retain everything. Kasi uh, even if the maturity value, uh, even if the maturity value has been reached, continuous po yung, uh, yung interest na papasok. So that is something very good. And that's also the reason why 
I decided to open a Kaiser plan for myself. And, you know, I also introduced this to my friends and family members. Sabihin natin, again, for illustration purposes, yung plan holder is 22 years old, kumuha ng K100. And it so happened na on the accumulation period or the paying period, may nangyari sa policyholder. Let's say namatay si policyholder. The good thing about this plan is if in case this happens, the policy, I mean, the policy will automatically be waived. May, waived meaning hindi na babayaran ng uh, beneficiary or ng family kahit hindi pa fully paid yung plan. The second good thing is makakatanggap po yung beneficiary ng tinatawag nating long-term care benefit which is 100,000. On top of that, may matatanggap din na long-term care bonus which is 350,000. So if you add it up, yung total is 450,000. Yan po is if the reason of death is you know natural death pero what if it's accident if the reason is accident then the beneficiaries will receive an additional 450000 so the total will be 900000 but one of the important things that we should know is uh very uh anong tawag dito very nice na feature ng plan na to is if something happens to the policy holder the plan is transferred to the principal beneficiary so that includes the health and investment side of which that's the that's in fact the primary reason why i decided to join kaiser and have one kasi nakita ko yung yung ganda ng long term care now kung naaalala nyo, sinabi ko kanina na we need to break the cycle kasi ito yung nangyayari ngayon eh ito tayo noon kasama natin yung kapatid natin, yung mga parents natin, eventually tatanda yung mga parents natin, di ba? Tapos hindi naman natin talaga ma-avoid na magkakasakit yung parents natin. Sino ba yung nagbabayad most of the time? Di ba yung mga anak? Buti sana may savings or uh, ready yung mga anak. Eh, in some cases, hindi ready yung mga anak. So, Doon na nag-aaway yung mga kamag-anak, di ba? Darating yung point na mamamatay yung parents natin. And most of the time, the kids will have to take care of it for everything. From the funds, for the viewing, and all that. And ito naman tayo ngayon. Hopefully, nakahanap na tayo ng partner. Hopefully, may anak tayo. Darating din yung point na Tatanda tayo, magkakasakit. Siguro darating din yung point na, let's say, ma-hospital tayo. Sino bang mababayad ng hospital bills? Gusto nyo ba anak nyo rin po yung magbabayad ng hospital bills nyo? Eh, paano pag wala kang anak? Paano pag single ka? Paano pag wala kang partner? Mahirap po. Kaya nga po, Yung tanong is, sino po mo yung magbabayad ng hospital bills in case this happens? That's why it's very important that we break the cycle. As the saying goes, you can never go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. To be an IMG member, just check the link later on. And if you're interested to get a Kaiser long-term care for yourself, you will also uh, get the link uh, later on. And if you want to get a Kaiser senior care plan, just check this link so that I can assist you. And don't forget, before I leave, before we end this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Again, ako po si Earl Anthony Durano na nagsasabing, Happy New Year sa lahat and may God bless you all the more. See you po sa next vlog. Bye-bye.